What's going on everybody? Today we're going to review 2019 Nissan Altima. I mean it's a good little mid-sized car man for the money. Uh, if you're looking for a nice mid-sized car. Now I'm not that big on Nissans. But if you are big on Nissans, it's a pretty good car for the money. Let me step back and a whole big view of that 2019 Nissan Altima. I'm not that big on the the little cheap plastic hood caps. I mean, it's 2019, but you know, I, I get it. I totally get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's not a bad car. It's not a bad car. Kind of, you know, shaped like every other car on the planet Earth now, but it's not a bad car. 2019. Let's check out the inside of it. Uh, you know, mid-size, good for a family, you know, back seat real nice and clean. I mean, you know, everything functionable. Uh, steering wheel looks a little cheap to me, but you know, like I said, it's mid-size Nissan Altima, so, you know, you're not buying a Lexus. Uh, but you know, everything is functional, everything is right in your face touch everything everything is right there but you know it's a good little it's a good little vehicle man for a family if you really wanna you know if you really wanna just um you know grab something that'd be good where you can pick up the kids and drop the kids off and do a lot of running around hold on let me clean my lens I think it's something on the lens here let me clean this lens here oh yeah that's much better let's take a look at this back seat you know, this you know, clean little back seat. You know, like I said, good mid-sized vehicle. You know, got your cup holders back here. Also got your your battery chargers right here for your phones, which is always a good thing because long rides, you know, everybody can't be stuck on the cigarette light or the other charger up front because you may have multiple people in the car. So it's good that they have that in the back. The cup holders in the back. Actually, it's four cup holders. One on each door and the one in the middle so you know pretty good pretty good looking vehicle always had these just in case you know put something right there so but it's a good little vehicle man uh for, for the car and for the money nice little nissan Altima. we'll check this trunk out and uh but i, I believe it's a nice little vehicle for the money and that's a huge trunk if y'all can really kind of vision that, that trunk is huge, you know what I mean? You can put two or three dead bodies back here, you know, if, if you into killing for a living. Uh, but if you're not into killing for a living, I guess it can take a stroller or two, you know what I mean? Some beach balls, or cooler, uh, stuff for the beach. You know, I live in Florida, so everything is beach, 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 beach. And this is also easy to pull out and try to get the beach sand out of there because you will have beach sand that will last the, the, the length of this car because it's hard to get, actually get rid of beach sand so you know it's um you know like i say good little vehicle man if you're looking for a vehicle like this good little vehicle let's check this motor out let's check this motor out see what's going on under this hood uh, the hood is a little sandy, but, I mean, you know, I don't, you know, I don't really deal too much with these Nissan motors, but, uh, y'all tell me, man, how y'all feel about Nissans? Anybody that drove them in the past, anybody that had them for more than five years or up to ten years, how y'all feel about Nissan Altimus? Are they good vehicles, you know, will they last like a Honda and a Toyota? Or, you know, are, are, are they ones that you have to put a little money into to keep it going? So, you know, but y'all let me know. I mean, you know, Nissan Altima, just a just a car I was trying to review. And, um, you know, because I never actually review any regular cars like this. I always buy old cars. So, let's see what these functions look like on the inside. And you know it got, uh, you know, it got pushed to start. You put your foot on the brake. You know, everybody has that now, I guess. Uh, so, you know, I guess it's functionable. I guess it's functionable. You know, all, every one of them come with the rear view. 
uh, mirror, you know what I mean, rear view camera, so you can see where you're going, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, everything you know, functions, but right now I got the phone connected to the radio, and uh, this has satellite radio connected to it, but um, I mean, it's easy to, it's easy to, um, you know, it's easy to get attached to one of these things if you bought it, and uh, you know, it does what you want it to do. All the functions on the steering wheel so you can have your hands right where it need to be. Uh, you don't have to be moving back and forth, moving back and forth. So, I mean, it's a good little functionable car for the money. If you're looking for a mid-sized vehicle kind of like this, it's a good little functionable car for the money. Uh, like I said, me personally, I'm an old school guy. I love old cars, old luxury cars. But, it's my first time reviewing a brand new vehicle. And, um, yeah. Not bad. Alright, but y'all tell me what y'all think. Next video though, I'm mean, we're gonna take this for a spin and um you know just see how it rides and uh I'll give y'all a review on that. Alright, thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Peace. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe, like, and comment. Love you guys.